Hey, Coach. Um, good to see you. Um, tonight, your freshman line, once again, like it's been in the past, was pretty darn strong. And uh, especially there in the third period where uh, Silohoff had two shots off the pipes. Um, they brought a lot of energy into that third period. Um, what would you say about the rest of their game? Well, I mean, it's the first game in college hockey, and, you know, it's, it's not usual to put freshmen together on a line, but they all have uh, different qualities that make them effective players. So, you know, we're, we're a little shorthanded right now, so we had to move land into center, and, you know, we decided to just keep the freshmen on a line together just because they, they have different attributes to make each other better, which is, uh, which is a positive. I thought they, they thought they did a good job all, all game long. Okay, coach, um, you're, it, it was kind of a sluggish start. We all kind of expected that out of eight months of uh, not playing, kicking the rust off. Um, what do you do to turn a team around to uh, get ready to come out tomorrow night and uh, get a win against the Badgers? Well, I, I think just as you mentioned, it's the first time since, you know, last March since we've played and, and, and same thing applies to Wisconsin, but um, I, I think just getting that game under our belt, um, give us an idea that obviously uh, in practice and it, the speed and the physicality of the game isn't quite the same as when you get into a real live game. So I think getting that under our belt and getting acclimated to the speed of the game and the physical aspect of the game was probably going to be beneficial for us to, you know, understand what we're going to have to do differently to be more successful on the offensive side of the puck for sure. Then coach, uh, Patrick at UND.com, obviously a long break, first game of the year, like you said, what are some things that you saw that you liked about this team tonight? Um, you know, I guess, first of all, I, you know, I, we did some things well. I think, you know, I was, I was happy with our play in the third period. I thought we were tentative a bit um, at times in the earlier parts of the game. You know, I think we we don't want to we don't want to turn pucks over like we did tonight. I think that the biggest thing was is we really didn't generate any possession through the neutral zone, and and I knew that that would be an issue against Wisconsin because they do a good job of clogging up the line the lines and also their D are staying up a lot. So you know you don't want to just chip and chase and forecheck all night long. You want to try to possess the puck on entries and and possess the puck into the offensive zone and. You know, for us to generate offense, we're going to have to find a way to do that better tomorrow. Coach Adam Wood, how are you doing? All right, Adam, how are you? All right. Uh, sorry, I was just on Wisconsin's uh, Zoom. This is modern times. It's real, very weird. And I'm talking on it with a mask on, too, so. <laughs> well, I'm just, uh, I'm in my office, in my, at my house. So, uh, But I wanted to ask you, like, how you thought, uh, the uh, shortened intermissions uh, played a factor, if any, or if you liked it or not. Um, I mean, for the benefit of television, I get it, but it is it is pretty rushed. Um, it's good for the speed of the game, but I'm not you know I'm not sure that uh, the ice conditions are able to handle it um, in that short of a turnover. But you know, we'll, I think it's first game. It's just something we have to continue to look at. Um, you know, how, how, you know, how effective it is as far as shortening the game and also, um, you know, how the teams and the ice conditions, you know, are, are handled. Um, you know, is that something you think the league might, might adjust on the fly here as you go, or are they set for that for the season? Well, I think we are. I mean, we're trying to get more games on television. And in order to do that, we have to try to get the game shortened. Um, you know, I think eliminating the five on five overtime helps going to three on three. Um, you know, and not playing three on three after shootouts and things like that. But short and intermissions is probably the only way you're going to go. And then accelerated play for faceoffs and things like that. I got to believe that that I don't know what the game time was, but you know, and, and it was like the first game in six months, so I, there was some sloppiness. So it might have been more faceoffs than normal. But uh, the speed of the game is something that our league's trying to improve on, and and some of it's for television. And we'll see. I mean, as long as the my biggest concern, we tried this a long time ago in the CCHA, and we switched back to 15-minute intermissions, I, I think, mid-season, just because they were having problems getting the ice, you know, with two Zambonis, you can get it done, but sometimes the ice is a little wet, even, even with two Zambonis when you start the period, and, uh, you know, we want to make sure we got the, the best ice conditions to start each period, and that's going to be the, the thing that we have to really evaluate.
Coach, I just wanted to, you know, uh, ask you how surreal it was uh, just getting, you know, all we've been through to get back to this point. Did you feel that during the game or did that kind of just go away as, as the game went on? As the game went on, it started to feel normal again, but, you know, it's, it's monumental um, for all the work that's been done to get, to get started um, under these conditions and things aren't getting better right now. So, you know, I, I credit the big 10 um, for the diligence they have with the protocols and making sure that we got to this point, I give them credit for, you know, allowing the coaches to, you know, emphasize the importance of us getting started, you know, before Thanksgiving and, and, and trying to get as close as possible to a full season. And I'm sure it's the same way around all of college hockey, as far as the work that's being done behind the scenes, you know, the number one thing is to make sure that we keep our athletes safe um, and healthy. I mean, nobody knows what, you know, even though young people are pretty resilient with this virus, we still don't know the long-term effects of it. And, you know, trying to keep our kids safe is the number one priority. But I can tell you to a man, I'm sure every kid on both teams probably was very anxious to start playing hockey again. Um, we can't live our, live our lives in, in our, you know, in our basements or in our caves. Um, we have to live our lives and, you know, we're all, we're all at risk every day. And we, we just have to pray that, uh, you know, that we can all stay healthy through this process and, and have a chance to play hockey at the same time.